Hello everyone, my name is Yusuf El Wakil and today I will be discussing and going through a research paper aimed to predict cloud workload using machine learning. So the paper is named an efficient deep learning model to predict cloud workload for industry informatics and it was written in 2018 by five researchers named King Cheng Zhang, Lawrence Tiang, Zhang Yan, Chikui Shen, and Peng Li. So what is the problem? Now, to start off, it is important to understand the concept of deep learning and what it can be used for. So deep learning is a subfield of machine learning concerned with algorithms inspired by the structures and functions of the brain called artificial neural networks. And so essentially, these neural networks attempt to simulate the behavior of a brain. Now, the problem prior to the study was that it was quite difficult to predict the cloud workload due to it having so many parameters. And the more parameters a model requires to train, the more time, memory, and CPU utilization the computer will require. Now, cloud workload is always and constantly changing. So for, exa for an example, a customer may be doing one thing intensively for five minutes and proceed to do nothing for the next 30 minutes. It is almost unpredictable. So for this model to predict such drastic changes, a lot of parameters will have to be fed into the model for training. And this ends up being quite a problem because it's quite time consuming. So some related work presented is quite, are the following. So, Zhao Kang Wang, Lawrence Tiang, Zheng Yushen, Zhang Jun Han, and Jun Feng published a paper discussing and showing how long it takes to compute cyber physical optimization. And the paper showed how long and timely training a deep learning model is when a lot of parameters are involved. Another paper that is related to this work is Sarab Garg presented an admission control and scheduling scheme in order to maximize the resource utilization and to ensure the requirements of quality of services. Um, so what this means is th they use the neural networks to predict the CPU utilization of transactional applications in the scheme. Now, th the main idea of the paper is that the paper is, is trying to focus on researching and developing a model based on the canonical polyadic uh, polyadic decomposition and the purpose of this was so that the model would be able to compress the parameters in order to improve training efficiency obviously by reducing or compressing parameters the time taken would drastically be reduced and therefore therefore improve training efficiency uh, the way the canonical polyadic decomposition works is the following the, the decomposition converts a tensor into a linear combination of, of a set of rank 1 tensors and each rank 1 tensor is then represented as the outer products of like the number of vectors. Uh, a tensor is just an array in deep learning terms and this array is essentially has been flattened out in order to reduce training time. That's the whole concept of this paper, to flatten out the tensors. So how is this better? Uh, first off, by allowing the decomposition of parameters, this allows for more parameters for the model to train on. Obviously, uh, yeah, and this is this reason is good so that now we are able to predict CPU utilization and memory utilization without having to manually reconfigure or view the, the cloud workload. So this is all automatically done using this model. So in terms of evaluation, the paper goes on to evaluate uh, the new deep learning model trained under the canonical polyadic decomposition compared to the, another uh, form of decomposition called the Tucker decomposition. Um, so essentially, these are just two types of uh, different decompositions of tensors uh, compared one to another. So um, as we can see here is that uh, there are four graphs uh, on the PowerPoint. Uh, one demonstrating approximation error, another one demonstrating classification accuracy drop, another one on speed up, and finally one on parameters reduction. And we can clearly see that the polyadic decomposition is always um, ahead in terms of uh, accuracy and uh, re reducing of parameters compared to the Tucker decomposition. So, yeah. Um, in terms of critiquing the paper, I believe it is a well-structured paper. It goes from explaining the problem that is currently faced in the cloud industry, uh, how it can be improved using deep learning, uh, why it hasn't already been done. Uh, goes on to showing the evaluation of the deep learning models 
and finally uh, goes on to show the outcome. Uh, however, one problem I did find is that it was all trained and evaluated on a virtual machine and it wasn't actually done on a, an actual cloud with actual customers. So it was all it was all research, but yeah, that was the main problem of this paper. So yeah. So thank you for watching and